Hi guys, today I'm here to do my August book and movie haul. I think I got about 15 books and 8 movies last month, so I'm going to try and go through these pretty quickly so it's not a long video. Okay, first up I'm going to show you all of the movies that I acquired last month. The first ones I got were a little set like this of all the old Doctor Who. I got a Sylvester McCoy, and I got a couple Tom Baker and a couple Colin Baker. I haven't seen any of the old Doctor Whos, so I was pretty excited when I saw all of these. I really love the new Who, so I'm hoping that I really enjoy these. Then I picked up Archipelago. This is a movie with Tom Hiddleston. I don't know anything about it, but I love Tom Hiddleston, so I thought I'd pick it up. I don't think British people actually say Archipelago, so let me know how you pronounce that. And the last movie that I picked up in August was Mr. Right. I've talked about this in my favorites video. This is one of my new favorite movies. It's got Sam Rockwell and Anna Kendrick in it. And it's about a hitman that falls in love with this really quirky girl. I think it's a really funny movie and I highly recommend watching this one. Okay, now on to books. I picked up Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. I have never read any Agatha Christie and this is the one book that I wanted to start with. It's the one I'm most familiar with and I found it for really cheap and I don't think it's been used so it's in really good condition. So I'm really excited to try some Agatha Christie now. Then I picked up Girl Interrupted by Suzanne Kaysen. I had heard a lot of people talk about this one and it sounds like something that I'd really enjoy. I checked it out from my library a few months ago and I never got around to reading it, but I found this one for really cheap as well. Then the next one I picked up is The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have the first and the third in this series and I really liked the covers of this series, but I could never find this one in my own state. But when I went to Omaha last month, I found this one and I was so happy that I found it. I have a few editions of Lord of the Rings already, but I wanted to complete this set. Then I picked up East of Eden by John Steinbeck. This is a huge chunker of a book, so I don't see myself getting to it anytime soon. But I really liked this edition, and again, it was only like a dollar, so I really couldn't pass up picking this one up. Next, I picked up Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. I read this one a few years ago, and I really enjoyed it. It was one that really creeped me out when I read it. It's in the format of an Ikea catalog, which I think is really clever, and I haven't been able to find my own copy, and I finally found one for really cheap as well. Then I picked up a few Hemingway. If you don't already know, I collect all of Hemingway's books, and these are a few that I didn't think I had. I think I did duplicate one, but the first one that I found is True at First Light, Men Without Women, Winner Take Nothing, The Dangerous Summer, which I think this one might be a duplicate, and Byline Ernest Hemingway. I think this is selected articles throughout years. I don't know anything about those books, but I love Ernest Hemingway's writing, so I'm really excited to get to those. I also found Miss Adventures of a Fly Fisherman. This is by Jack Hemingway. This is Ernest Hemingway's son, and I kind of just wanted to pick it up because I didn't know that Jack Hemingway wrote anything, and I just read a book on Jack Hemingway's daughter, so I thought I'd pick it up, but when I opened it up to see the price of it, I saw that it is actually a signed first edition, and I was just really excited when I found that. So I'm definitely going to really take care of this one because now I have a Hemingway signature in my collection. Again, if you don't know, I collect Alice in Wonderland books, so I picked up a couple of those last month. The first one is this hardback. It actually comes out of this box and it looks like this. It's really pretty and it's brand new, but I think I bought it used. And I was really excited that I found this one. Then I found this edition of Alice in Wonderland. This is in a different language. I don't remember what the language was. I think it might be Italian or Latin or something. This is what it looks like up close, so if you know what language that is, please let me know. I was just really excited to find this because I haven't had an Alice in a different language before. Then I picked up The Father Christmas Letters by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is just a really short kind of picture book of, I think, Christmas letters. It's really cute. It's illustrated, I think, by J.R.R. Tolkien, so I'm really excited to get to this around Christmas time. And the last one I got was The Great Gatsby. This is also an illustrated edition. It's really thin, but I think it's the entire book, but it has illustrations of what's going on in the book, but then it also has little fun facts about the 20s in it. I was really excited when I found this book because Great Gatsby is my favorite book, and I really look forward to rereading this book and seeing all of the fun little pictures. Okay, I hope this wasn't too long. I really tried to hurry through all of these. I'll leave all of the books that I mentioned down in the description if you want to go check any of them out. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!